is Shayna, and we're gonna be having a a three review. Now, not like on all in one video, but I mean, like we're gonna have reviews. As you can see, I'm doing my reviews under the Christmas tree, and I'm sorry that I haven't made a video in a very long time. But time for me to repeat because it's during the holidays, and I know I haven't done any actual reviews, but these are the only things I can do reviews on that I got for the holidays this year so far. Because remember, we still have more Nights of Hanukkah, and we also have Christmas, so stay tuned. Now, as you can see, there are three things. One, two of them I did not open because I just got them tonight. And one of them will be on two channels, this channel and my main channel. And one of them is already open because I got on the first night. And the second, third, fourth, or fifth, because tonight's the fifth night, I think. I don't remember. I'm going to have to check. If I got it wrong and you're watching this on a laptop, then there's going to be an annotation saying the sixth night. And it should probably be popping up right where Cerise's head is. Well, this Cerise. Probably like right about here, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so the first review we're going to be doing is the one that I, that I got first, which is Cerise Hood Hattastic. Which is my very first Ever After High doll. And I know I have a bunch more reviews on other dolls for me to do, but I don't think I can get to do the time. And I also have to do like stuff on like new Monster High and Ever After High dolls that are, will be coming out because I see you guys love those videos. And sec and the next time I'll be doing Cerise Hood, which is the first one, which is Inbox, and the final one, which will be on both channels, the hundred gel pens which all my friends are going to be jealous because I have 100 but I'm going to have to buy another bag oh wait I already have one da, da, da. or do I now oh, whatever time to get to the review so first we're going to be doing yeah make it a close up Sadie's Hattastic so stay tuned okay so here we go and I know I'm doing this on a mailbox don't judge me okay so Let's start off with her makeup. Uh, it's hard to tell with this really bad camera. Okay, I'll just say it for you. Um, it's like very, very clear pink, I guess, or very, very uh, pinkish pale, I guess, or lemon pink. I'm not sure what it's called. And her lipstick is like a light maroon, and she has like blue green, blue green gray eyes. Um, she has gelled um, straight bangs with red streaks which is different from hers original bangs and she has a headband with her hat which makes it look like wood looks and looks like it could be for cedar wood but anyway has a belt actually it looks like it could be wood and a boot but that's my opinion let me know what you think the hat is uh, meant to look like in the comments below uh, let's just get to the back of her hair so you can see the rest of the streak. Uh, if I could just turn it properly without having the doll fall because this box is very unstable. Oh, by the way, the side, um, the hair for me is like flipped backward. So it looks really cool when you're wearing the hood. Here is the. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh. There we go. So you can't see the streak from the back, but yeah. So for the bad language in the background, my dad's playing an adult video game for the PlayStation. But if you could look very closely in this ear, you could see one of her earrings, which is a teacup. And let me, oh no, you're not going to fall. And, um, and you see it's the same on that side and let me just get this doll's stand straight because this doll is a very bad stand and err. Uh, you know what I'm just gonna keep you on this part of it because you just seen the stand better after a teapot right there oh wait no I realize it now it's a teapot pouring pouring tea into a cup that's really unique Okay, yeah I know. Doing it on the bottom, it's way better that way. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. 
Her necklace is silver with that looks like a gem after more beads. Her dress has black puff is like black puff sleeves. It's very very soft cloth. Same with here. Her dress looks like it's plaid, like a different sort of plaid. It's really cool. And it has a plasticky material feel to it. Her bell is like a double belt. It's black and silver. And I could bring it to the back. Oh, wait, no, the hood will block it. Never mind. Uh, there's like a fish netty plaid material of blue, I mean, red, black, black trim, and silver. And after here, I love, and this is my favorite part about, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire thing. Is my favorite part about this doll, besides the earrings, well, one of my favorite parts is her mini underskirt. Well, it's still a dress, but I like the under part. It has teacups and everything with all the leaves, and after it's red fading to white with the pink. After the material is very well, I never seen any doll have that good material. Her socks are black fishnet, which I have a lot of dolls with black, black fish, like fishnet socks, but different and they're different quality. Uh, and her boots are re her shoes are really cute. It has red ribbon and it's like turned into a bow, and it's like black sneakers. And on the back, I see something on the back. Let me see what it is. Oh, I have to make it go all the way down. Hmm. I don't think I can close up on myself. I'm gonna have to. Look closely on me, and it shows nothing really. So, just like black, just like um, ingrained flower detail. But the boots are really cute, and I love them. And let's get through her gloves. Her gloves are black, and these. This is the only thing detachable because, well, you can take the gloves on and off. And she also has a bracelet right here. Well, not really bracelet, it's supposed to be like a cuff to the glove. She also has one right here. Which, with a Rebless girl, I thought she would be like one glove off. But, if it was like Saro, Saro, Sparrow, then it would most likely be, it, like Sparrow as a girl, then it would most likely be one glove. Not the other bracelet. Yeah. Anyway, I might... The stand I will show in my next review, unless they're different, I'm not sure. But if not, I'll make a separate video where it shows both of them with the stands. And yeah. Um, at the end of the video, I will show pictures but of the stall. And at the very last one, I will be show at the very last review, which will the very last video, which will be this ending, will be exclusive to this one only. This channel only will show everything together in photos, or I'll just make a separate video, which will be exclusive to here. And look at that! Look at the penguin trying to photo um, video bomb this entire thing by staring to us. Anyway, yeah, um, I will be showing what she looks like with the hoods all the way, but for now, just that. Let's get to the accessories, shall we? So here's her purse. It's red. Oh my god, 5%. Don't bug me, iPad. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to have to make this part quick. Uh, oh, whatever. It's not focusing. I'll be right back. After this gets to 10%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back. And I have my iPad 16%. Anyway, let's take a look, good look at the purse. Okay, so as you can see, it has your laces right here. It's red with the laces. It has braids right here. The back is just the same thing except without the red. But the downside of this purse is that it does not open. It's still really pretty. And it actually sort of matches her shoes. And now, 
every doll besides a hat and a purse and a necklace comes with something very important that they couldn't do a tea party without. That's right, the cups and the in the, the cups and the teapot. Start off with one of the cup, pot, cups. This could focus. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna do it for like this. There you go. So it has a wooden feel to it. it. Makes it be like a picnic basket feel. And it has a red bowl, which I'll detach. First of all, because he has little hooks. Okay. And it is small enough for the doll to hold right here. Yeah. And over here is oh my god, here is the plate. Has tree texture around right here, but not here. Here it is on the bottom. Yeah. Again it comes with two. Yeah. Now let's get to the teapot. So basically, oh my god. Ah. Yep, here it is. Here it is. So, it has like red branch with flowers feel right here. This could focus. There we go. Now you can see it better. And it still has a basket feel. You can't take the lid off. And I'm actually going to put some water inside, so we're just going to see how that is. First, before we start, I just want you to look at Glitz. She hasn't been on camera in a very long time. She's like, hello, hi, hi, and Glitz. For the people that have never seen me before, yeah. Okay, Glitz, so you could get, guys could just watch while I grab a bowl. Or you can just grab this, because everything in the... In the Oh my god, stop getting off camera glitz. I know you're camera shy and you're not feeling good and it's a few days till Christmas. At least stay on the camera. Now I'm just going to fill this up really fast while you guys can do the Okay, now let's... Now this is going to be the only time I do this because I just want to test it. But, yeah. This is going to be at a different angle, so... Unless so I could do this for once without having it fail. Okay, so I have my cup right here, and I have the teapot, and my friend Vanessa and Nessie just called, texted me, and I can't text her now, so hopefully she will not hang, start falling. So yeah, we're gonna take it in. And you see the water right there? I'm gonna pour it in. So if there was actually tea, this would be a lot easier. It does not leak. I think. I don't think I just tried. Glitz, flip over. Flip. Stop it. If you're gonna flip over, at least eat the pea. Yeah, that's the antidote though. For flipping over. Frozen peas. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. It's not spilling or anything. So if you ever actually want to have a tea party and hold like actual tea in it, you can. It'll be very cool because you can actually have like the cups and have tea in it. Very cool. So you can fit it in without having it come over. And yeah, now it's time to get back to our filming spot. Okay, so I did promise I am going to be showing you what it looks like with the hoods. Yeah, and Nessa just texted me again. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you what she looks like with the hoods, 360, and then you'll be seeing some photos of her that I've taken recently. And yeah, let's start off with... Uh, Okay, halfway. so I know that the hair is messy, but here is with the hood halfway. I know, again, the hood is, the hair is messy now. Yeah, here it is. And, yeah, I will now show you what she looks like with the hood on all the way. Okay, so I know her hair looks messy in the still, but here it is. Oh my god, camera, set. Here it is with it all the way. Yeah. I know it's not really all the way, all the way, but I wanted to show with the hat. Yeah. Uh, I did take photos, and the photos look really amazing, and they will be at the end of the video.